Hi everybody, it's Kathy. I am going to uh, do a little video for you and this is by popular demand from some of you students who've been asking me how to do this. I was trying to show you in class, but it's easier for me to do a recording of this and um, show you step by step. What I'm trying to get to is um, to be able to save a scene that looks like your cabinet with the doors closed and then one with the doors open. And I want to show you a file that I've created. This is one with multiple scenes. Here's my cabinet closed. And I've created several scenes showing the making of the cabinet. Doors open. I add some books. Doors closed and from different viewpoints. And then finally I changed the material on the cabinet. Doors open, some books added, doors closed, and the finished product. So in order to get to something that looks like this, we need to make multiple copies of each component and group, and we use the layers. If you look over here you can see I have all these different layers, shelves with wood, regular shelves, cabinet, wood cabinet, etc. So over here is where we make all of these changes where we can turn things on and off and then set our scenes because remember when you're setting a scene you're also, I'm going to page down here, you're also setting the visible layers if you have this checked. So the ultimate goal is in the layers tray to set up all of the layers that you need and place the different objects on each layer. If I turn all the layers on, you can start to see all of the pieces and parts I have in this model. So it wouldn't look good at all if I had all the layers on. So once I make each layer, I practice turning things on and off so that I know uh, which things I want for each scene. And then I start at the beginning. So I would start with the first scene. I want to create all my layers and all my objects first. I want to have my model to be complete. Then I want to start making my scenes. So in this particular scene, I turn everything off except for the white background cabinet. Then for the next scene, I turned on the shelves and the cabinet, everything else is off, saved the scene. The next scene, I created an, a set of open doors, saved those uh, as uh, checked open, check the cabinet, check the shelves. The following scene, I just rotated with the orbit tool to a different view and saved it. And then I found some books to um, grab as a component, and I just dropped them anywhere, saved that scene, then I placed them in on the shelf and saved the scene again after orbiting to a different view. And then I wanted to show it closed. Again, over here you'll see the cabinet is checked, the shelves are checked, the doors are closed are checked, and the books. I have two different books. One is out here and one's inside the cabinet. So um, we'll get to the point where you can at least have your doors open and closed and then you can work on putting any of these other scenes together you like. Once you have all of your scenes in your model, you can show your scenes as an animation. So I want to just show you where that is real quick and then we'll get to the actual nitty gritty on how to create this. So if I just go to view, and then down at the bottom of the view tab, you'll see animation. You can actually add scenes here and update scenes through this tab as well. But what we want to do is play the animation. So I'm going to click on play. And it's going to start from wherever I had that scene check marked, so or whatever scene I was looking at. It's going to toggle through all of my scenes as an animation. And you can see as it hits each scene, that's the scene that lights up in blue. 
and it's just going to keep toggling through over and over all of the different scenes that I created as an animation. And then I can make it stop at any point in time by just clicking stop. The other way to grab to have an animation is to select the first scene, right click, and play animation. And it'll go through the same process that I just showed you. You can pause or stop. Uh, one other thing about the animations is that when you go into the animation tab, you can also uh, change settings. Settings are uh, going to come up and they're going to look like this. You can enable the scene transitions, which is what you want normally to make it go smoothly from one scene to the next. And then you can tell it how long you want it to stay on each scene. I have it set for one second and it's going fairly quickly. So if you wanted to show this and you wanted to set the timing differently, you could change it here under the scene transitions information. All right, so let's go to the nitty gritty and I'm gonna show you how to create that those duplicate doors that open and close. 